absolutely bloody brilliant. If you're a manufacturer, you make a suit, you've got like half a meter left. You can get maybe three caps out of that, certainly get two, depending which one. The eight piece cap, which Peaky Blinders has made incredibly popular, that's used out of tiny scraps. Now, the history of caps, um, this is the brilliant thing about them. In Victorian times, you had companies that did caps and schoolboy trousers, and that was a popular thing. Small garments that you could make from scraps purchased by the sackload, purchased by weight from bigger manufacturers that made coats and overcoats and what have you. Now, the outer fabric they get from suit and coat makers, the lining from suit and coat makers. This stuff here, it's called Petersham, they got from corset makers. Everybody wore corsets in, uh, in Victorian times, and so you could buy this stuff as scraps. Now, inside this cap, if it's made properly, there's an internal lining, which is a piece of hessian. Uh, it was very breathable. And of course, everything was delivered in sacks in, uh, in Victorian times, from coal to vegetables and everything else. So all these things, the hessian, the outer, the inner, this Petersham, all available as scraps from manufacturers. But now, if you buy a modern cap, you can't do this with it. Because there's a big lump of plastic in the peak. Even the expensive ones you buy, buy in these plastic peaks. And they're not really all that comfortable. What those clever Victorians did, everything was made out of leather. There are saddlers everywhere. There's a crescent-shaped piece of saddle uh, leather in there, boot leather in there, which they'd get from boot and saddle manufacturers. And so when you put this on your head, if it's made properly, this flexes to the shape of your head. It's not a rigid lump of plastic inside there. And you can truthfully claim, if you make a cap like mine, that they're completely renewable recycling materials. This lining in this particular one is actually some um, Chanel ball gown silk. I bought some surplus silk from some people and it said Chanel on it, so I presume this silk lines were going to be made for ball gown or something. Uh, so I get rid of all these little bits of corduroy left over from trousers. Uh, this lining here, this is silk, but in all my suits I use a, a, a cotton twill lining, same as the military tailors. But yeah, uh, it caps are absolutely brilliant for getting rid of all the old rubbish that you have in the factory. Also skirts, but I'll go into skirts later. Yeah.